Hello everyone. In this video lecture, we are going to understand the Archimedes principle. So we have this as a spring balance. Now this spring balance is hanged with a stone over here and the volume of the stone is let us say Vs. Now since we are measuring the weight of the stone in the air because the surrounding medium is air and the weight displayed over here is Wa. So I am going to call this as weight of stone in air. Now this usually can be in gram force, kilogram force or Newton. Now what we are going to do is we are going to take a Eureka can which is filled with water. Now this part of the Eureka can is known as spout. It is also known as overflow jar and we can very well understand that you can maximum fill this Eureka can with any liquid till here because if you try to put more amount of liquid the liquid overflows out. So this is how a Eureka can looks like right and this is the marking or this is the maximum height that it can ever attain with any of the liquid because if you try to fill it with more amount of liquid the liquid overflows out from here correct. So this is the spout. Now you are going to slowly immerse this stone inside the water, correct? So now in this adjacent diagram we are able to see that this entire stone is immersed inside the liquid. It can be any liquid water, oil or whatever it may be. Now the reading displayed over here is WL and it is also known as apparent weight. It is also known as weight in the liquid. Now this is the real weight of the solid, actual weight or actual weight. Now this is the apparent weight that is the weight in the liquid. Now we already know this that when you immerse any object in a liquid, the liquid exerts an upward force which is known as upthrust or buoyant force. Now due to this, the weight of the body in the liquid decreases. So if I say, for example, the weight in the air was 100 Newton, which means the earth is pulling this body towards itself with a force of 100 Newton. And suppose this upthrust acting on the body is 20 Newton. So 100 Newton downward force, 20 Newton upward force. So resultant weight is 80 Newton, which will be shown over here. And always remember one thing that the spring balance measures net downward force. So 100 Newton down, 20 Newton up. So the net downward force is 80 Newton, which will be displayed over here. Now one another thing that when you completely immerse this stone, some amount of water or any liquid which you fill it up will overflow out and will be getting collected over here. Now I'm going to keep a weighing machine under it. Now this is a beaker which contains graduations on it like this. <clears throat> so we can measure the volume of the liquid displaced. Now this liquid which is over here is known as liquid displaced. And we very well know that the volume of the stone is same as the volume of this liquid displaced. Volume of liquid displaced is equal to the volume of the stone. Now, you will also record the weight of the liquid displaced. Now, as per the Archimedes principle, weight in air minus weight in liquid is equal to upthrust, that is the net upward force. And this Buoyant force is also equal to weight of liquid displaced. Now this we need to prove it. Okay, why these two are same? Now this is pretty much clear that 100 minus 20 should be 80 or 100 minus 80 should be 20. Now I'll prove that the upthrust and weight of liquid displaced are same. We'll start with upthrust. Upthrust is equal to density of liquid. volume immersed 
into G. Now since this stone is completely immersed inside, so I am going to take the complete volume as Vs, so rho L that is the density of the liquid because upthrust is equal to the product of density of liquid, volume immersed into G. So here the complete volume of the stone times G. Now we also very well understand that the complete volume of the stone is also equal to the volume of the liquid displaced. Now what is this product? Density times the volume is the mass. Now this is the mass of this water that is the liquid displaced because volume displaced multiplied by the density of this liquid is the mass of this water displaced or liquid displaced times g which is equal to weight of the liquid displaced. So Archimedes principle states that when a body is completely or partially immersed inside the liquid, upthrust acts on it and that upthrust is equal to weight in air minus the weight in liquid which is the apparent weight and it is also equal to the weight of liquid displaced.